Hillsong member 34, who tweeted, got 99 problems, but a vaccine won, dies after a month-long battle with a 19, and final, pray for me message. Stephen Harmon, 34, died on Wednesday at the Corona Regional Medical Center outside Los Angeles, where he was being treated for COVID and pneumonia. Harmon was a Hillsong College graduate and member of the church. He had made several jokes on social media in recent weeks about not having the 19 vaccine. He also documented his illness and treatment publicly on Instagram and Twitter after being hospitalized on June 30th. I bet that they were quick to savage him on Twitter because of his previous statements. As I've said many times, I haven't taken the vaccine. Don't plan to. The gym is my vaccine. These hills that I run in Newport Beach, the hills I hit up at Morro Canyon and Laguna Beach, the thousand stair hike I hit up, that's my vaccine. But that being said, due to the nature of my business and employment, I'm not in a situation where I'm out there dealing with the public as much as others. And certainly, let's take a look at the gentleman, and you can judge for yourself whether he fit the description of somebody who should have consulted with his doctor to see if this was right for him. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe he did, and maybe the doctor said it wasn't right for him. In the days prior to his death, Harmon posted about how he was on max oxygen, struggling to function, and questioning whether he should go on a ventilator. His tragic final tweet, which was tweeted on Wednesday, revealed that he had decided to be intubated, but he wasn't sure when he would wake. And there he is right there. With what we know about those most affected, should this gentleman have consulted a doctor? Should he have been more smart about his health matters and his relations? But is it even possible? You don't know, right? You don't know exactly where he contracted this stuff, but you see him. Prior to his death, Harmon had joked about the 19 to his 7,000 social media followers. If you're having email problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but a vaccine won. How'd you like that? Am I going to get signed to a deal soon? I can make basic words rhyme. He posted that on June 3rd. On July 8th, Harmon wrote, Biden's door-to-door -door vaccine surveyors really should be called Jacovid Witnesses. Wow. Keep moving, dork. <laughs> I will give him credit. That is pretty funny. Jacovid Witnesses. And we've heard about the branch Covidians, the masquerbaders, terms like that being put out there, keep moving dork. Definitely something that Biden is. That dude is one of the biggest dorks out there, he and Fauci. I'm not talking about policy and all that other political nonsense. I'm just talking about when I see them, how they look to me. I'm like, God, what a bunch of dorks. That being said, I'm not too far off from that age, so I'm going to be looking like a dork when I get old, too. He also posted memes about how people trusted Fauci over the Bible. When you can't trust the Bible because it was written by a man, but you trust the CDC Fauci guidelines because they were written by a man, makes total sense. He posted on May 25th. Eh, maybe that wasn't too funny. The other one was pretty funny. Jacovid Witnesses. Harmon had previously claimed on social media that he wasn't an anti-vaxxer, but rather pro-information. It's not clear when Harmon was diagnosed with the 19. Here you see the tweets. Since everything is a social construct these days, and folks out here identifying as different races than they're born, Rachel Dolezal, now Nkichi Amare Diallo, I'm not familiar with that. I've decided that now I identify as a six foot three D1 collegiate athlete, and if you prefer, I'll identify as vaccinated too. Yow. And then here's his Bible tweet with the Aubrey meme. You don't want to say it's karma because you don't want to dance on the dude's grave, but when I was telling my wife about this story, I was saying, yeah, you know, I was saying I haven't taken the vaccine, I have no plans to do it, but I don't come out here bragging about it. I don't come out here trying to peddle that onto others or peddle my beliefs onto others. All I say is do what's best for you, do your research. Get your information, consult your medical professionals. They know you better than anyone else. Don't listen to bimbo pop stars that they bring to the White House to try to push the message to naive or ignorant young people. Do your own research. And so what I was saying to her was I am not out here trying to push an agenda on people. I have my reasons. I'm doing my own thing just to make sure that I'm staying safe and healthy. But my situation is unique in that I don't have as much interaction with the public as some other individuals do, which... 
decreases my exposure plus the amount of workouts that I put in. I'm trying to stay healthy, but man, I would love to get a big old plate of nachos today from Fiesta Grill here in Huntington Beach, so I might look at doing that later. Fiesta Grill, everyone, if you're down in HB, Southern California, check it out. It's pretty good. And again, as I said, based on everything we know, right, they always tell us about those most affected. Men, color, obese, pre-existing conditions as well. We don't know if he had any of that. So the question is, what did he do behind the scenes? Did he do enough? Could he have done more? Now here's another one they incorporated into the story and we'll move on to the comments real quick. Hospitalized right-wing anti-vaxxer fighting for his life with a 19 as his family says he regrets not being vehemently pro-vaccine. And that's one of those things, right? Regerts, as they say. Yes, regerts, as the old joke in the tattoo commercial showed. Get that tattoo that says regerts. Can't have regerts after the fact, right? Vaccine doesn't do any different. People are still getting COVID and still having traumatic symptoms. You saw from the story I covered about the Texas morons who were taking their selfies and all happy and they started a little spreader event. We see some other stories about individuals here and there picking up things. They say by and large, based on statistics, that while you still can contract it with the vaccine, I mean, because nothing's ever 100%, that, what did I see, 95% of new cases, I believe, it was here in LA County, I think might have been mentioned a day or two ago, were unvaccinated. That may be different across the US with all these new strains and variations going on. Do what you gotta do. Educate yourself. Make the best decision for you. Let's stop calling it a vaccine. It's gene therapy drug that's going to take over. Okay, someone died. Oh no, we better go out and inject ourselves with an experimental poison to protect ourselves. Somebody says, idiot. Somebody says, oh, please don't. Pray for him. No thanks. He didn't care about anyone but himself when he decided not to get vaccinated. And that ratio here shows you more upvotes and downvotes. It shows you the kind of people that are out. I make a lot of jokes about things that go on with politicians and celebrities and things like that. But this just shows you the mentality of individuals. It's the thing they'll say in anonymity when hiding on the internet. These are the kind of people that are your neighbors. These are the kind of people that are out here in our society. And while you can certainly say, well, if he did get it, then perhaps he wouldn't be in the situation to come out and say the, the thing that's in your head out here. It just shows you what kind of society we live in, our fellow Americans, and what they think of us. Nation divided, as they say. All right, everyone. I've said my piece. You know what you got to do when it comes to this. Maybe you've gotten the vaccine already. Maybe you're not looking at it. Maybe seeing things like this makes you give it a second look. But as always, educate yourself. Talk to your medical professionals and do what's best for you. We all have to make the decision that's best for us and live from it or die from it, I guess. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and be well.